wants to watch it. This is one little clipping and I just want to so watch that. Like, see on him watch it and then watch it. This is so right here, this is one little tiny and his hair will come down so I probably rock the two right it just like you would right off into the catch that with the shears and wind across. See how that is? And then you know, then just break break around all that. You know, the nice one down here to clean it up super sick. But see over here, remember to and this one watch, I'm gonna really show you. Watch, get it get in there, get your clippers, watch. I'm gonna show you something sick. I'm gonna all the way do the due diligence of See how it's, those clippers are fucking smooth. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. It's like they're just a tiny step above those previous. Remember the guys? These are JRLs, the best of the best. JRL, if you guys are interested in sponsoring us, email below. <laughs> Dude, what I mean, we don't play around. We don't play around. Guys, usually we have the music in here, but we don't feel like feel like that. Copyright the channel. back do you want it round square or tapered not tapered okay so just says yes, blocked off like we do and so look i'm going to show you one little since now we bear the same clippers it's going to be higher i'm going to show you one little tiny quick little thing right here Look with your clippers, watch them over here, like forget about that, watch it, come up this beam. And this just that way I can even have you see that this right here instead of so that's gonna be out of there because the, the scissors are gonna catch that one right. Like and this will come right through every drop. Give me a single one and then I think I can come catch another row right, right over here, but all that will that won't be any shear, that'll be all. The shoe will be towards the top and then up down. This is another trick. Watch. Let's see. So now, see with that little. So with that little freshen up before I even jump into the shears, I would take your. Uh, I, I would take a, a short two first and and watch and do and have it to where this is because this is that that sauce that I'm telling you where I take that short two and come. Look at how I work this one around here. I lift the ear back here. I'm not afraid to touch them. I don't care. And I come like that. Because, look, I care about the haircut. And that's the number one factor to me. And it's, uh, that's just getting some, getting this hair here. Because that will go down to a one. Like, this is just down to a two instead of the two and a half. So just, you know, right beneath the two and a half. But really ready for this cleanup here. 
See, all of that needs to be cleaned up in order to do, in order to go with the one. So if this is cleaned up here. Now watch, get your one guard on there. And watch, I'm gonna show you something because now it's time to straight out of me on Friday. Because this sure part would be nothing. See, and then and if you put a one guard on, take it up to a one and a half. Yeah, raise it all the hill. And then and then just kind of flick through that, creating a shadow that goes down through here. And then watch, because that should pop right into the two. Like, and I'll show you where to start. Watch, and, you and, and, and I want you hitting it like, watch, like, like. So with, with this, I can go all the way down with, the, with, with that one, but we don't have to do it. Then I can go up one, then I go up two, and, and, and then I'm all the way up here. Now I know where, it, where to catch that blend. And I just come right over here. Because remember, the two will skip that right out. And I just come right over here. And then I go all the way down with that and, and clear this area. That way that can do that and then come into the one and a half. See, don't worry about a ridge there because that will come out like it's nothing. And then see if you can do that all the way across. And okay, and I'm going to teach you one other thing. If you go like that, it's going to go real short. But if you come and you rake a little bit, it'll it'll be more forgiving. Then you can go into the shorter. Start with the higher and then go into and then use your shorter without having to adjust the guard. Yeah. And, and come in and watch. Let me show you one little thing. Watch. And come in and straight up holding it like this. Like having this, your hand on here and, and popping right out. See where you're catching that wave at the top? Yeah. And then you can go like that. And then you can go down like that and, and catch that last little. And if you do that all the way across here, then that's perfection. That, that's as easy as that is. Oh yeah, perfect. And don't be afraid to push it on there, just so you can get it down short enough. Yeah, it'll it'll go on there, and it, and not necessarily wading through it, but on this one, it'll 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 go in, and then you'll just pull up. So you know, you know, pop it. And don't be afraid to dig it in a little bit and have it. Cause watch the, uh, and then the two will take that right out. See, and then if you hold it flush like that, then that blends to where it's like that. See, so remember down here, you'll go all the way, all the way down like that. It makes now, it look easy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and, and it is, because watch, he's going to see how it's, uh, just so he can, that way, because I know it's nothing to him. It's so real to... Wow, that's perfection. That's perfection. That right there is perfection. I don't care what it looks like, because I already know where it's going to go. That's the part for me that it doesn't matter. See, now you're, now you're getting all of that because when you took the one down to, to all the way down, that'll blend right into that and you'll knock that out with your two like it's nothing. It's almost making a line and following, see? And then that's when you get that. And using the, yup, exactly, brother. Yup, exactly like that. Yup, now you got it exactly like that. that that's sickening. That, that's elite because I can see the cut right here. I can already see how fire it is. That's where I was like, damn. Oh yeah, I could, if you, it, just to even be honest, if you all ended and left it, it would be light years above what's happening. But I can't wait to show you the sauce. That's where it's, oh yeah, perfect. See, and so, and even with, and don't ever be afraid to, it's okay to move and sit, to even have him just say, okay, so these are swirls. Yeah. So look, that, that's the one down, up, up one more, I already kicked it out, I don't even, down, up one more, kicked it up. Swirls, cool. I'll come right against it. Practice, look, right, hold it, lift the skin up right here. Look, so nothing even, it, it's okay to, to be touching him. He'll understand when you're doing it, when it's the right way. Like, cause we're doing it for a benefit of the cut. If, if you were just throwing his head around or whatever, he would never come back. See, and those little angles will mean make every, and, and with that one, just come over here and go like that. Watch, step way over here on this side and watch. And just, cause, yeah, because I want you to learn those angles. That's going to be super important. Learn every angle that's on there in the sense of, yup, exactly. You, you'll see what I mean by that's monumental. Oh, yeah. Beautiful right there. Now you're getting it. Look how that fade is coming out. Oh, that looks sick, dude. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now you get it. The moment I seen you switching the, that's where, and see, and, and you used it on its soft side on the bottom, so it was its shortest. 
and then you raked when you got to, and, and, and look how already great that looks. And so then I'll be showing you another Jedi mine trick with you. Yeah, that's, do that all the way around both sides. And that, that's beautiful right there. Like, like, unless it's already, it's almost done on that side. You know, maybe clink it up just a tiny, and then go from the very bottom to down just so I can see how your work is. Have it all the way up, that, that freaking thing, all the way up, look. Is it, there you go, yeah, at the very bottom. See, and then you can click right up when, when you wanna go right. Yeah, exactly, and, and, and you know what, corners. Remember the corners of your clippers, corner here, corner there, you know, to get that, to get the shit, just use two teeth. There you go, just use two teeth. And then, and then when you come across this way, pretend that you're coming, watch, stand right over here. Pretend that you're coming right over here and you have this coming that way. Well, now this is going down that way. Okay, alter that there. Use that as a Jedi mind trick. Sweet. And all of that's gone. So now here, watch, get your black ones. Cause I just want to show you something super slick so you can see your, your outliners. And watch, I'll show you, I'll show you something sick. And so see, and so take your outliners and, and remember, come right over here. Look, when, when you, you, you hold his ear back, you can see there's a little bit of mess. The first position to hold your clippers in is like that. Right. And you come right through there. So you would come, you know, get, see if you can hold it in that in that angle just to see how that angle is. Oh yeah, turn it on. Go ahead and, and, and yeah, just lightly run right. Exactly. Yes, that's the perfect spot. And, and, and look, and, and, yes, that's beautiful. And watch, look, let me show you something else. Watch, look. So if I just go like this, take my finger and I just pull that down, I use this as a base, my finger right here, so I can almost coast it right around and just have it like that. Then I'll come right back here and see, this is my reference point of where I started. So let me pop that reference point just going down this way. And then now my objective is, you've made that clearing point, get rid of the shit here. You know, that way now you can clean up your area. So once you make an area, clean your area to its, uh, you know, that way you can see everything and then you can add. So now on this side, watch, now on this side, come over, come over here. You pull his finger down here, you go like that. And then you start that reference points right there. It just goes right down like that. That'll be your second part of doing. Now watch, try that and see how that works. Let's see if it, Beautiful. See how you, you just went backwards with? That's perfect. Yeah, and then just stop right above there. Cause I'm gonna, yeah. And then, and now come down this way. Okay, watch, let me show you something. Don't, don't come down. Well, let me show you one little tiny thing. I'm gonna show you a trick. So look, watch, let me show you one little thing. So, so this curves down here and comes down this way. So if you go this way, then it'll be, so watch this, look. This will come down here. And look, you already saw that you were going like this. So just take that bottom part and follow it right down here. Okay. And look, and then that's how this line will come out. Trust me, what, nobody wants to teach you this. Once I show you these little tiny things, dude, it's over for you. Your blending is too good. And you're already elite with your shoes. So it's like these little tiny angles of like, pretend it's a fox hawk. You just show them where to angle, then they, it's over from there. And see, so that, that becomes that. So see how good that is and none of it's and none of it's going to come back too quick. Then I say, okay, well, these are perfect. Now I come here and I base right here. That way I'm not going like this. And I just come here and go like that. Come right over, right across. I can move his chair, come right over here. Now clear that, now clear that in, blow dry him off, clear that entire area. And, uh, and then, and then I'll show you how to work the front right over the sideburns. Then you'll cut the top of his hair on your own and you'll blend the sides on your own because it's nothing to you. Your sure works fucking as good as mine by far, which is shocking to me that your, your sure work is not great. Let me just put your head down real quick. Thank you so much. See, just right up to that line. Perfect. And because at the end, anyway, you know, you'll just put a tiny bit of shape cream and, lot, and, and shave them up. And, but look, that's perfect right there. So now just do your regular haircut. If whatever you get with this to blend it in, 
like, you know, a three or whatever, or if you want to use scissors and blend it in, then bust in or shear over comb with the, you know, first sure. first two shear, maybe cut his hair on top and then do the scissors on the side and then use your blending shears, it's done. It's like that. Awesome. And then I'll show you how to, you'll see, it's good, that's perfect. start to see it come together and so that's when you can see it it's before that it's gonna fight. Uh Diego's fighting for the bare knuckle fighting championship here in Albuquerque on uh February uh February sixteenth or seventeenth I think. Yeah. Over here at uh Team Lake Coliseum. So it's gonna be bare knuckle wow. bare knuckle fight. That's crazy. I've seen some of those on TV. That's just brutal. Yeah, the bare knuckles a little. It, I agree with you. That's pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I thought UFC was intense, and I saw that, and I was yeah. like, "Whoa!" Yeah. I, I could never. I'm too old, but I'm saying even if I was in my prime doing MMA and getting fighting, yeah, I wouldn't do bare knuckle just because I like my face too much. So yeah. I mean, I don't like the you know. Seems like every fight they get in, they're they're a bloody mess. They're yeah. cut. They're. It's like nah, that's I'd rather wear a glove just to prevent that. Mm -hmm. If you've done any kind of sparring, though, I will say you can punch harder with a glove on than you can punch without a glove on. Right, well, probably because of the pain issue, right? I mean, without yeah, the glove right. on, think about your knuckles and how many bones are right there. Yeah. And then imagine putting Brain on. The you just break it too. You know, this was the gloves I fought in in 2012. Mm. Give me the cage. And so imagine having one of these on now, to where it's uh, to where you know th this one you could really swing. Yeah. Right. So it's like you know you can. You could swing it like it's a, uh, you know, you could swing it like, you could swing this really good like it's a. Uh, yeah. You can feel the return on, on this one. All. Yeah, I mean, your, your bones can only take so much, you know, so you need that little cushion to really get the boxer practice, you know, the fifth uh, metatarsal, or the top of the Pinky. It's almost like when you're having a bare knuckle fight, like when I had a couple of shoot fights way back in the day, yeah. it's like I had to slow my punching down to where you weren't trying to, you know, go all out and, and destroy because you would end up with your hands circling. Right, right. You know, it's like... How long have you lived here? Well, I, I was um, born in Mexico, but I... Uh, well, in Mexico or no, New Mexico? No, in New Mexico, here, Las Cruces. Oh, okay. oh, wow, nice. But I was working in Washington State for the past 30 years and came back. So the main ago. event's one of your guys. Uh, Austin Trout is fighting a friend of mine mm -hmm. uh, for this wonderful main event. Yeah, is that right? And so that'll be a good fight. So are you a new employee here or you're being a new employee and being and learning as well? He's a little bit of both. Yeah. A bit of both? Okay. How long have you been here? For about Seven days now. Oh, not very long. Yeah. He's a graduate from Paul Mitchell Barber Academy, and then he's also in the instructor program. I see. 
So he's a licensed barber. Uh, he's about to be a licensed instructor. Kind of like how, how I am. So it's, you know, he's doing that. And oh, so you have to get uh, yeah, some more training to become a licensed instructor, huh? Correct. This is master barber instructor. Uh, I see. And then Does I, that require though that you've done it for like a certain amount number of time or you just have to take a class and you're good? Depends on the, the kind you're trying to get. So I mean, yeah, you can either be here for like two years, kind of take your test. Yeah. And kind of go for it. Or you can do what I'm doing, go back to school. Yeah. And it's kind of a quicker way. Got it. And you know what? When I was going, they didn't have the option of going right to school afterwards. No. They recently changed that, or I would have I changed in the December. Yeah. yeah. See, so now they're fortunate enough to go straight from that right into uh, uh, instructor school. So it's mm -hmm. like... Uh, So wait a minute, so if you're an instructor though, I mean, you're still cutting hair for yourself, right? But, so what does that get you? I mean, I know it sounds like a stupid question, but uh, getting this new certification, what does it I get you? I can tell you everything. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this, with everything. <laughs> the barber instructor can get you jack shit. Yeah. It's an ego. Uh -huh. Because here's the thing, the instructor, they don't pay shit. You know what I mean? You're, you're never gonna make what I make here cutting hair as a, they're gonna pay you 40,000 a year as mm -hmm. an instructor. You make 150000 a year as a barber. Mm. So I'm just saying the instructor program, in my opinion, is extreme honing it. I'm going to open a barber school one day. Yeah. So I chose to be an instructor because I'm also cheap and I want to be one of the instructors at one of my schools. Mm. You know, to save money, cuss cuts, and expenditures, right. and everything else. But here's the thing. The, the instructor license is nothing in the sense of I'll never go to a school and try to make sure I'm not gonna make 40,000 a year when I'm right, making right. over 100. And so the thing I use it for is I use it for an ego mm -hmm. in the sense of I am an instructor. You mm -hmm. know, it's still more education, it's better. You can do an online instructing course, it opens more windows in that mm -hmm. sense. I would never use it to go work at a school unless right. it was my own. I'm just saying though the instructor license is you know, someone who wants to be at the cream of the crop of, you know, their industry, right. too, I would assume. It's really for someone who wants to go work and, and probably be an instructor. <coughs> I don't use it for that, so it's like, you know what I mean? But if it's on your resume or something, people say, whoa, he's so, an instructor, so we good. So when you come here to get a haircut, yeah. now there's two instructors here. Got it. That's a bigger, that's just a better, uh, you know, that's a good thing, in right. my opinion. So now you have, uh, we have all of APD here. They've been here, the sheriff's department's here. Oh, is he coming for a haircut? Absolute secret <laughs> service, Homeland Security. They're all here. Yeah. And so, you know, it's, that's the reason why when I had someone come here, yeah. they have to have a license. You gotta be fucking something. You gotta pay taxes. You gotta, sorry guys. Only, you know, I have too many important people here that, and look, when you're charging that kind of price, this is expected to have integrity. And when integrity's in the name, sir, superior integrity and respect. Mm -hmm. For every client that's here. Oh, that looks sick. See, that looks perfect, exactly like I told you. And that's exactly like the picture. It looks great. All right, guys. He loves it, and this is signing off. He wanted to let you guys see some education happen, and if you guys like what's going on like and subscribe and and uh you know we're doing beautiful things here this is what the out front looks like this is what's happening signing out sir